So welcome to uh, part two of the SD25 PC NFC software, getting started with it. Now, before we go into the software and demonstrate some of the de de demonstration board, I'd like to start to tell you about the SD25 DV PWM ESET board. Now, if you get on www.sd.com, and type in uh, this part number you'll be greeted with this uh, web page and from this web page we show you the board which basically has a USB micro interface the SD25 DV PWM device itself and a, some connectors a four pin connectors allowing you to connect uh, to uh, an external board because these are PWM output. There's an antenna within the top part of the board. So you would need this board to go to part two of this, uh, this evaluation. Once you have the board, connect the board with the USB micro uh, connectors and uh, make sure that you uh, don't not put do not put the board on top of the SC25 R3911 B board or any board that has exposed electronics because potentially you can have some short and that could be uh, that could be bad. So when you first plug it in, you sh you might see the LED um, light it up on the ESET board or you might not. It all depends on what the PWM config configuration was set previously. So plug it in, then do a scans once. Okay, so now you can see the UID of the SD25 DV, DV PWM device. If you click on it, it will show you the product uh, name how much memory it has, a 2K bit right here. So go to uh, demo and go to uh, PWM setting. So here you can see that there is some automatic setting and as soon as um, you click on that tab, you should see the LED changing in different patterns um, on, on, that, on your board right now, the green LEDs. And you can see that this is a two PWM output device. So it has um, two panel to show different duty cycle that can be done. So if you want to um, do more critical things that is um, at the output of PWM, the four pin connector that we're talking about, it has a ground, uh, VCC, which is uh, three volt, and um, it has a PWM one and PWM two output. So, from using this panel and the output, you can allow the PWM signal to drive some other thing. It could be a motor, a fan, or whatever on the other end, and you can change the the frequency the duty cycles per channel, okay? And that this, then you can also do a sound demo. A sound demo happens when you connect the PWM output to a piezo uh, electric uh, device or a speaker that can play back these uh, frequency you can actually change different frequency and get different sound as the output of the the PWM itself so that's pretty much what you can do with the PWM ESET demo and the SD25 PC NFC software thank you